can one of the most emotional speech I have heard by Peter Obi. This one now for Assemblies of God Church in Toka. Please share this video first so that others will be watching with you. This speech can make me this so emotional. Watch the video first. Watch the video. Watch out. Nigeria cannot continue the way it's going today. And it's your prayers. Your prayers is you're not asking for anything more. You're asking just for good governance. You're asking them hope to build a place for your children. We want to give the children of this country hope. We are to live in. They're not asking for more. We have 100 million Nigerians living in poverty. We have our young ones who have gone to school without a job, without a future. They are not asking for anything. They want an opportunity to earn a living. It is not too much for their country to give them. Peter B is not asking you today for vote for Peter B. I'm asking you to sit down and scrutinize all those that are offering themselves for election put all of us on a scale let's know who we are let's ask questions who we are let's verify who we are it is important for you do not say because Peter B is from the east I will vote for him do not vote for me because I'm an Igbo man do not vote for anybody because he's from the west do not vote from anybody because they from the north. This is time to vote a human being who have conscience and trust. So if Peter B is not the one, if Peter B is not the one to be trusted, don't vote for him. Don't vote for him because he gave you money. Because he will steal your money. This is the time we have seven months. You have seven months to ask questions. Who is Peter Obi? Where did he go to school? Who are his families? Who are those who say they are living with him? Let's verify who he is. Ask questions. Don't listen to our grammar. Don't even look at our certificates. Yes, you can ask me when the question. But remember that the educational qualification is not a measure of integrity. There's so many criminals that went to school. There's so many people who went to school who are criminals. This is time to ask about people's lifestyle. Where they live, how they live, everything. That is what we need now. Don't listen to our promises. Ask questions. The ones we promised in the past, how did we keep it? That is important. This country is not productive. People want to walk. Today, everybody said there's great insecurity everywhere. Our Father and the Lord have said there's a, because of sitting at home, these are all that start, that are caused by bad leadership. You can have 100 million people who don't know where the next deal will come from and you have security. No. The more you pull people out of poverty, the more you reduce criminality. People's businesses are collapsing. Our children are not in school for four months. Nobody cares about them because they're not children of politicians. Our children are in schools overseas. So those who are here cannot be in school. People are dying because there's no health care. Nothing. 
this is time to ask questions about all of us. I only ask for prayers. Not prayers for me. But prayers for Nigeria. Prayers that Nigeria do not make mistake in 2023. Prayers that will start electing people with conscience. People with fear of God. Everybody here is a child of God. Peter B is not better than anybody here. Whatever I've gotten in life is by his grace. And nobody should abuse grace. In Nigeria, people are abusing grace of God. And it has to stop. It's God that gave, gave us power. Gave us position to use it to serve humanity. But we have used it to serve ourselves. And that is what we need to question now. And like I said, do not listen to politicians, including me, talk. Go and verify. We know how to speak sweet things. But go and verify. From our homes. As even our wives. Our children. Who their father is. How he lives at home. His relationship with his wife. These are very important. Children of God. I've studied about 31 countries. And found out that. God blessed Nigeria. He gave them everything. But gave them bad leadership. And that cannot continue. And that is why I said I will ask for special prayers. The prayer point will be God touch politicians. All of us. Peter will be everybody. Let God touch their hearts to use public money for public good. God bless all of you. May we stretch forth our hands, please. Lay your hands on Our Father in heaven, we thank you once again today. We thank you for the gift of life you have given to all of us today. We thank you for good health and strength. We thank you for joining mercies. We thank you for bringing us into this sanctuary. We thank you for your servant, His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, and every member of his entourage who have come here today to share a few minutes of their time with us and to address us as fellow citizens and to encourage us to get it right as we go into 2023. We pray for him especially today. We ask for his safety. We are interested in his safety. Oh God, you are his rock. You are his high tower. You are his hiding place. You are his shield. You are his protection. You are his deliverer. You are all and in all for him, for his wife, for his children, and for everyone working with him. Arise on his behalf. Prove yourself strong on his behalf. Deliver him from every plan of the wicked. Whatever may be any design of the wicked, we stand as a church and cancel all of them in the name of Jesus. We pronounce blessings upon His Excellency Mr. Peter B and everything he's doing and we wish him every success. We wish him every success. We wish him every success in the name of God the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, 
And all the children of God will say, Amen. Amen. The man talk, go and ask questions about all of us. Not for one person. Who go ask questions for the other person and leave the other person? Find out the identity. Who them be? No be from this year. For the past 25 years, who them be? For the past 30 years, where them they? Where thing them they do? Which offices they don't occupy? Where thing be their achievements? No be just to talk them. Go and verify. Now verification matter now where we there for this country. We don't do here, we don't do talk. The man say this man called Peter will be say, put us on a scale. You know they say na my right oh. You know they say na my tone oh. He's just saying Nigerians, here am I. Send me the bet just the good governance will be our rights. Now we think they talk. You know they talk for himself. In the talk for all Nigerians, please. Share this video. This video, this video won't make me cry. This video won't make me cry. But I don't cry on my cry already for Nigeria. I no cry no day again to cry. Cry no day again to cry. My cry don't finish. <laughs> the next one now where they cry now go revolve. God forbid if we miss this man, copy Taobi. I beg. Go get your PVC. So roll may endure for a night. But if we miss Peter Obi, ah, that's solo. Even in the morning, if you wake up, you go steam it up. That's solo, no go even allow us sleep. Mu no miss this opportunity. Mu no miss some more Nigerians. Mu no miss some. Share this video. Get your PVC. Let's vote our conscience. Let's vote for good governance. And it's a day, Begoda. And it's a day. And it's a day.